This one, this tenor here is pretty unique out of the bunch that we got. Uh, a lot of it is because of the, the wood that's used on top. And it's not commonly used, but it's a very beautiful wood. Very beautiful tone as well. This is Portuguese Cypress. And as you can see, um, as the light hits it, there's a lot of coloring going on. From this angle, it almost looks as bright as a spruce. But as I turn it this way, it's like really brown and golden. Very nice amber color too. That matches very well with this koa on the back. I like when it has these grains, these swooshy kind of um, grains, especially in koa. You don't see it that often. You usually see a lot of this compression curl that goes on or this fiddle back type. But seeing this almost quilted koa is beautiful. The coloring too. Um, man, this is... Josh gets some of the best koa wood that you can get your hands on. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. He comes from a history of, uh, you know, they, they deal with this stuff. They've been dealing. They get the best. So, ebony binding, abalone purfling, and abalone rosette. The binding on the sound hole, too. That's, uh, that's also ebony as well. Uh, got this cool, sleek, very elegant-looking uh, purfling line that goes all around the fretboard. Mother of Pearl inlay beautiful koa face plate and that same kind of koa on the back plate fitted with waverly tuners this is pretty unbelievable <laughs> incredible tone.
Damn. 